Hello everyone and welcome to Stream and Tech Now. So yes, it has happened again. One of your favorites has been shut down. Typhoon TV, which is a clone of this app right here, is unfortunately and officially over. As you can see, if you try to install the latest version and open it, well, it no longer opens. So it is a sad day since I know many of you use this on a daily basis. And one thing we know for certain is, well, it's inevitable. When you're dealing with free movies and TV shows, it's not if it will happen, it's it's just a matter of when it will happen. We've seen multiple other apps share a similar fate as Typhoon over the last few months, but it hits especially close to home when it's one as popular as this one. In fact, millions of people were using this, and that's likely why it started to create waves. So what happened? And, and this is at least according to the developer of Typhoon. It started getting legal pressures from ACE, which stands for the Alliance for Creativity and Entertainment. And you might ask, well, what do they do? Well, their mission is to protect all of the profits that draw on the anti-piracy resources for the Motion Picture Association of America. So this is the company, this is the organization that is in charge to shut all of these anti-piracy things down. So this is actually a screenshot directly from the developer of Typhoon. Now I'm not going to read the whole thing, but basically he says, well, since Ace contacted us before one or two months, I am not sure fully, but we were hit. We had to make some calls and we will have to close this project down. Now he goes on to say, this isn't my final word to the streaming world and so on and so forth so it's interesting from his message he states it's not my final word and this was not his first app so it'll be interesting to see if a new app happens to surface in the near future which many times that's exactly what happens one app shuts down and another two or three app surfaces in the near future so you know shortly before this announcement that the app started not working it started crashing etc so i think the writing was on the wall and that kind of thing usually happens before the end now do you have anything to worry about if you use this app who knows if anything like logs or IP addresses were actually turned over. We don't have those details, and it certainly is possible, and it's been done in the past, and that's why using a VPN is always recommended. But honestly, I seriously doubt you have anything to worry about. Ace's main intention here is to get the app to shut down, and they have succeeded, and so they likely will just move on to the next one. Now, that leads me to my next point. I wonder if other apps like like say Cyberflix will face the same fate and how have they escaped this? That's certainly an interesting question. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. One nice thing is there are a lot of other options out there and I won't name them in this video, but a quick Google search, you will find plenty. But I'm curious to find out what you guys think. Do you use Typhoon? Are you sad to see it go? And what are your thoughts? And you know, let us know in the comments. Guys, just a quick video today. If you are wondering what happened to this app, now you'll know. Thanks so much for joining me today. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Streaming Tech Now.